Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. In this video, I'm gonna be giving a brief update on the progress here in Sorovia Garden, and I'm also gonna be talking about some things coming up in the future, including the fundraising that's gonna be happening very soon. So stay tuned for that, and let's get started. So, as you can see, we're back here in Sorobia Garden, where I'm going to be giving you all an update on the progress that has been going on in the last week. But also for the benefit of the people who have asked in the past, I'm gonna show you how to get to the garden relatively from the parking lot. I'm not gonna go all the way to the parking lot, but you'll be able to see it from where I start. So let me show you that. Okay, so as you can see there in the distance, that is the parking lot. There's a better shot of it. So this is the second parking lot, the one that's closest to the pool. So if you park in that parking lot and walk towards the pool and away from State Road, you'll come to a trail. If you make a left on that trail, you'll eventually end up down here at the building where the bathrooms are. Now there are two trails on the other side of the bathroom. One goes straight. That's not the one you want. The one that's just on the right side is the one you want. And you start walking down. Once you get to the end of this trail, you'll see the wall and you'll know you're at the garden. Just remember to use the side entrances and not the middle one. It is gated off for a reason and that's just for safety purposes. Because you never know when Humpty Dumpty might decide to take that fall. Now on your left side as you're coming down this trail, you'll see this little rabbit shaped hole, rabbit head shaped hole. That's how you know you're on the right path. Once you go around that little bend past that tree, you'll see the little house over here and the wall. And there you are, you're at the garden. So as I had mentioned, this is gated off, so please do not go through that way. There's plenty of other ways to get in here. There's a little doorway there and here on the other side, there's another one, but it's also open on the other side of that as well, where you can just walk right in. There's also a side entrance on the right side once you go in, and then one at the very back. So here's the other doorway, and here's just where it's open. So make sure when you come in, you do use the side entrances or the ones on the side or back of the garden. As for the update on the progress, you'll notice that there are a lot less weeds growing through the bricks now, especially around the cards. Between the weeds being gone and the spades being dug out, they really, really stand out now. And this is so very cool. And most of what they did this weekend was getting rid of the weeds and the bricks. So you could see under this tree, really no weeds. A lot of them were pulled out from over there. They dug up a little bit more of the path here. Strange though how quickly the weeds can grow because it was just a few weeks ago when they pulled all the weeds out of here. And while the hostas do look like they're doing a lot better, most of them anyway, the weeds are coming. Pulled them all out of here. And then that brings me to the project that I've been working on over here at the chessboard. I only just started it. I was going to do more on Monday. However, it started to rain. And yesterday I had a bunch of stuff I had to do. So I haven't been able to come and do any more. But you will notice that the, the grass and the dirt under the grass is up higher than the bricks here. So now every time it rains, a little bit more mud goes on to the bricks. And this is going to be a frustrating process unless we lower the grass squares. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be planting grass seed or if we're going to actually put down sod. That all depends on what happens during the fundraising phase. But I did do one square right here. It may not look like I did much, but this was actually the highest one of the squares. And to be honest, it was actually two wheelbarrows full of dirt so it was up pretty high and I got it down low and there's a lot of roots in there that are like super thick I had to cut them with the shovel and get them out of there some of them are still in there but 
for the most part I got it just for for show so that we can all see what I'm gonna be doing and I am more than sure that my fellow volunteers are going to help out with this since there's not really much left to uncover or do so this is what's going to be for every square if we're going to be laying down sod of course we're going to dig it down deeper than this and so since we're at the point where we have just about dug up everything quick little recap for those who haven't watched the whole series i started here remembering that all this was under dirt and grass as was this i started here with just little hand tools and then the maintenance guy stopped by and gave me access to shovels and a wheelbarrow and stuff so made it a lot easier then i showed up on day two and i had a few squares that were dug out much to my surprise my my little secret helpers who are now part of the volunteers eventually digging out the entire chessboard digging out the little straight path right there this one was already there but this one they dug out and they continued to dig out all the paths around between the other volunteers and I We've managed to pretty much dig out everything there is to dig out. All these paths right here. The playing cards. Path in the back. Digging out the fountain and the wall there. Taking all the weeds out of the old reflecting pool in front of it course the spades taking all the weeds out of the raised bed garden so we are close to done just some little fine tuning here and there some weeding and stuff and then we can try to get a list together of native plants and flowers that we're allowed to grow then I have to run that by the park manager so she can make sure that everything on the list is acceptable and then from there we can try to plan it out. Still amazes me when I think back to that first day when I walked in here and I thought, man, something's got to be done about this place. There's something about it. And here it all is. Just blows my mind. So hopefully you all enjoyed the brief progress update here in Sorobia Garden, as well as the quick walkthrough tour. One of the things I wanted to talk about was my subscribers. I am, I am still blown away at having 294 subscribers at the time of making this video. When I first started this channel, I thought I'd be lucky if I got 10 or 15. And as I said, it just blows my mind to see that number grow and grow every time I put up a new video. And I want to thank each and every one of you. So as I approach 300 subscribers, which while that's not a monumental occasion as far as YouTube is concerned, but for me it is. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do a video that wasn't here in the Chamonix State Park. I think last I checked, not including the live that I did when I talked about things here, I think there was 17 other videos in a row of just the Chamonix State Park in some way, shape, or form, and most of them were here in the garden. So I wanted to try to do something different for the, the monumental occasion to me, of getting 300 subscribers. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna go. I'll try to figure out somewhere in the next week or so. And hopefully it'll be cool. Hopefully you'll enjoy that one as much as you've enjoyed all of these videos. Another thing I wanted to talk about is future events. Now coming up in the near future, I'm going to start the fundraising for the garden here. So we're gonna be accumulating as much money as we can to try to buy flowers and shrubs and statues, anything that we can to make this place beautiful again. We're bringing it back to life, and I know that it's going to happen because it's happening right before all of our eyes, everybody that's watching these videos, little by little. So once I get the fundraising going, please make sure that you give to the fund anything you can, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, you give a hundred thousand dollars if you want to as well. I'm not opposed to that, but <laughs> 
But uh, the important thing is that everybody that can give, please do so. Also, in the further future, obviously, we're getting to a point here where we're not going to be having anything to dig up, so there won't be any updates. So I'm going to have to try to figure out other places to go. So if anybody has any suggestions that knows the local area, say within a half hour to 45 minute radius of Neshaminy State Park or say the uh, Philadelphia Mills area, then please let me know, put it down in the comments and I will check it out. With all that being said, I think I'm going to get out of here and I will see you all in the next one. So just remember to stay safe, stay healthy and take care.